This is Galactic Attack. I love that name. It sounds like a B-movie or an Atari 2600 game. This game has two other aliases. It is also known as Rayforce, the original title in the Japanese arcades, and Layer Section for the Japanese Sega Saturn. Galactic Attack is great because it's one of the most entertaining, fun, playable shooters on the Saturn and also one of the most affordable. There's some shooters on the Saturn like Radiant Silver Gun that will fetch upwards of 200 or more dollars online. Galactic Attack might cost you somewhere between $1 and $20 on eBay depending on the condition and if it comes with a case. And it's a terrific game, price doesn't mean anything. This game reminds me of a souped up version of Xevious, because you're not just shooting enemies in the air, or in space, but you're also bombing them. In fact, you can lock on to numerous targets at once, and destroy them, and you get more points for the more targets that you destroy while locked on. You're doing several things at once trying to rack up points while dodging enemy fire and attack patterns. Overall production value is very high and the game is extremely smooth and just playable. I keep using that term because that describes Galactic Attack. This is a good shooter for those who just want to get into the genre without having to spend a lot of money or worry about any really complicated scoring systems. You're basically trying to shoot everything that moves without having to really concentrate on getting combos and that kind of stuff. If it moves, you shoot it or bomb it with your lasers, your laser bombs. And it's called Galactic Attack. That, that's just a great title. It should have Muppets with laser guns. The music is not too much to brag about in this game, but I generally enjoy playing Galactic Attack more than some of the more exotic shooters on the Saturn or the other consoles. It's a nice mixture between a more simple shooter like Xevious and some of the more complicated ones out there that throw out ridiculous bullet hell attack patterns. Galactic Attack has five difficulty settings on playing on the normal level, which is actually the easiest level. One of the really nice features in this game is that you can hit the front left bumper on your Sega Saturn controller and turn the score and weapon overlay on or off. I find that it gets in the way of gameplay, so I turn it off. It would not be a spaceship shooter without some useless, slow-moving space battleships with lots of gun turrets and guided missiles. I just did a quick score check there. I'd like to get up over 500,000 so I can get my extra spaceship. I crashed one earlier. You didn't see it because I cut that part out. It was embarrassing. Ironically, I also have a copy of Layer Section for the Saturn, which is easy to play on a North American Saturn with one of those 4-in-1 cards. I picked that one up in a lot with uh, Dodon Pachi, another shooter.
And Layer Section is nearly identical to Galactic Attack, but of course I'll be reviewing Layer Section as well, which is also not a terribly expensive shooter. It's a few bucks more than Galactic Attack, but they're pretty much the same game. Check out the audio cue before the guided lasers come at me. Galactic Attack does audio cues well. Picked up an extra life, but I lost one in between the edit again. Uh, this is a weird game for me. I'm actually getting through the hard parts fairly well and then crashing into easy things. It's like winning the Indy 500 and then just backing your car into a parking meter afterwards. And then having it explode. These are some toe-tapping good tunes in the background. This makes me want to just stop recording and play this game some more. I've got a lot of gameplay here, so I'll break this into a two-part review. In the second part, I'll talk about some of the other gameplay intricacies and show some more levels. So see you back here in part two of the Galactic Attack review. That rhymes. <laughs>